Hi, this is JP from the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Dark Matter campaign playthrough with Diana Stanley. Last time we didn't do that that well in the Tatter Demalion scenario. We got defeated and took one mental trauma, uh, but we managed to scrape up two experience, so I was able to do some upgrades to my deck. So let's first hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see what kind of upgrades I did. Okay, and here is my upgraded deck. So the two experience went to three copies of Mind's Eye. So Mind's Eye is uh, good for the Dragon Ball build as it fills two um, arcane slots. So it will put the Dragon Ball online immediately. Uh, also, it is useful once you get your willpower uh, up with Diana. It is a really powerful guard. Uh, as Dragon Ball gives you an additional arcane slot, you still can play the Sixth Sense or Azure Flame, depending on which you get or need to play early on. And uh, yeah, that's basically every upgrade I <laughs> had experience for. So let's Let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, so we are set up here on on the table. So we have the school grounds in play, uh, which is a let's look at it. So it's a one shroud location with two clues per investigator. While investigated, this location gains plus one shroud for each of your clues. So it gets uh, harder to investigate once you get some clues off of it. And there's a fast trigger. If there are no clues on school grounds, put the set aside a shimmer in the wall location in play directly above school grounds. And uh, in the setup, we also set up Maya. So Maya is the information archives. Uh, it is a story asset. And uh, uh, there's a fast trigger ability. Choose and discard three cards from your hand. Disengage from each enemy. Engage with you and move to any connecting location. Investigators at any location may trigger this ability. Uh, that ability might come in uh, very useful later on in the scenario. But first, um, <clears throat> we can read the fluff text. So, uh, scenario 2, Electric Nightmare. You struggle to follow the pace of the little girl as she skips hop and hops towards the small town. My name is Maja. My directive is to store and manage the information archives on the ship. She hastily explains that a few of her classmates and her uh, were kidnapped from their school by the bad people on January 16, 2045. Uh, their brains were surgically removed and preserved in a special experimental machine that eventually became the powerful supercomputer operating the Tatter Domalian K2 PS187. As you walk through the town, it becomes clear that something horrible has happened here. Everything appears to be in disarray, as if a riot has recently passed through. Freshly painted yellow graffiti depicting strange symbols and hieroglyphics can be seen. Everywhere are sp uh, spatters of blood, uh, spent shell casings and pale face masks. There are no bodies, but you can hear the sound of distant screams, gunshots and sirens coming from beyond the streets. Nearby is an overturned police car and a black box truck lying on its side. Huge claw marks have torn into the metal of the truck and it is and its rear doors hang open. As you walk past, a radio fro from within crackles and sputters, then blares, Hello, Unit 12. Unit 12, is that you? Please respond. Uh, Maja uh, clarifies that this virtual environment that represents K2PS 187 screams takes the form of the day they got captured, the day the entire world ended. What could possibly have happened on Earth in the distant future? Or rather, the distant past. You finally arrive outside a, a large brick building. Maja halts and gestures towards it. This is where my friends are hiding. The bad people made us translate a scary story and make a movie for them. 
we didn't want to read it, but they made us. A few days later, Annie, the Universal Translator, she, she made her tru tru uh, struggles to utter the words. There is a desperate fear in her eyes. Uh, you won't believe me, but I swear, it was the boogeyman. I saw the boogeyman eat her. I ran away and searched the archives to see if anything, anyone could help. After a long time, I finally found someone and called out to them. Uh, that's when you woke up. Now that's your inside. Uh, then now that you are inside our system, you can save us. Before you, is a path, path leading to a pair of double doors, above which are the words "Public School 187." Underneath, someone has written "Haster Rises" in yellow spray paint. An inhuman howl echoes through the halls inside the school, followed by children screaming in terror. So, check Campylog. Each investigator with fewer, three or fewer memories must read the syn synchronization, and we only have one, so we need to read this. Desynchronization. An overturned school bus gathers dust in the school grounds. As you examine the va vandalized windows, you notice a glimpse of your own reflection. However, you no longer recognize the person looking back at you. The frame, uh, the distant facial features, they all seem so familiar to you. Yet you know this is not your body. You stare into the glass of disbelief. Uh, in disbelief, the face of your reflection morphs into a blank, pale mask with no mouth, nose, or eyes. The virtual reality no longer recognizes your residual self-image anymore. The mental projection of you, your digital self, has decayed into nothingness. You must add the desync weakness to your deck. This card doesn't count toward your deck's limit. Okay, so <clears throat> that is the story text, and uh, because we only have the one, we have the desync weakness in our deck now. So it's revelation, you must either choose one, suffer one mental trauma, and add one tally mark next to your memories, then exile this card. If your deck has five or more cards in it, shuffle this card back into your deck, otherwise discard it. So <clears throat> that is a way to get the memory with the tally of one mental trauma on and otherwise it just uh, stops us from drawing cards. So that's that. Um, let's read the agenda and act next. Figment of your imagination. K2 PS187's virtual dreamscape is strictly, uh, strikingly realistic. You feel the tingle of each hair and smell the worms in the ground below you. All sensations are amplified by the direct simulation of the uh, sensor motor cortex. In this world, it is difficult to distinguish between the simulated and the hallucinated. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it, and uh, four doom threshold. And then we have uh, Public School 187 version 3. So there are three copies of this uh, Act 1, and you choose one at random. So we got the uh, uh, version 3. You approach the virtual school and pull open the double doors, only to reveal a solid brick wall behind it. Simulation appears to have been uh, tinkered with. You will need to find another way inside. Locations can't be switched with each other. Uh, obje objective. After a, an investigator reveals the entrance hall, immediately advance. So in this scenario, there are <coughs> a couple of ad additional ru uh, rules like switching locations and swarming. And uh, then uh, locations in the virtual dream. So the locations are connected left, right, above and below, but not uh, diagonally. So that we need to keep in mind. But that's basically everything. So uh, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so uh, we'll start by drawing our opening hand of five cards. Hoping to get something good, so we get the Defiance, Talisman of Protection, Twilight Blade, and Dragon Ball. I'm keeping the Dragon Ball, and uh, I think I will risk it and try to get one mind side. So we'll uh, Mulligan four. Okay, so that goes away, and we get Mind's Eye, which is great. Okay, well, uh, I think our first journey is pretty simple. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. 
we just want our dragon pole online as fast as possible so we have a way to bite if we get uh, uh, get any enemies uh, early on okay so uh, first action we will play the dragon pole Second action will take a resource, and last action will play Mindsight. And Mindsight takes up two arcane slots, as do does Dragon Pole. So we have uh, our hands and arcane slots filled up already. But now Dragon Pole has a plus two um, combat and also gives us one additional arcane slot. So basically, I'll just keep this here, and this is the extra one that the Dragon Pole gives. And. Uh, we have three secrets here, so I'll add those. <clears throat> now that is our whole first turn, so no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, six cents, uh, which we probably will play as our third card, and we gain a resource. So we have one resource, so we have to wait for the um, six cents for a bit. But that is the first round, let's go to the next round. We add one doom, encounter card for this round is... Reminiscence. Uh, so this is hidden peril, secretly at this card into your hand, and uh, when an investigator would successfully evade an enemy at your location, that enemy immediately attacks, then instead discard this card. So first, when the end game ends, if you are eliminated, if this card is in your hand, add it to the victory display. So that, that is anno annoying. Mm. Okay. Well, nothing we can do about that now. We don't have any enemies to evade or anything else, so we'll just try to investigate. So first action, we will uh, investigate 3 versus 1 here. Minus two, we succeed, so we get the clue. We'll investigate again, and now it's uh, three versus two here, because we have one clue. Minus one, we get this clue also. So, um, after an investigator reveals the entry hall, immediately advance, and if there are no clues on school grounds, put the set aside shimmer in the wall location into play directly above school ground. So we'll put the shimmer in the wall. So you cannot enter a shimmer in the wall except through the um, fast trigger ability on Manja. Okay. So we need to discard three cards from hand, which uh, sucks. So we still need to figure out, I, I think I'll draw a card, Holy Rosary, so I'm discarding that, Holy Rosary, and dodge, to be able to move here with the Marcia's ability. Okay, just checking. So we enter the shimmer in the wall. So two shroud uh, and four clues. So after entrance hall is switched with another location. If you are at entrance hall, draw one card and gain one resource. Limit once per round. Okay, so we enter the entrance hall. So we advance. Scrambled mines. So if it doesn't take long for you to realize that something is horribly wrong. The interior is tangled in an impossible maze of always spurting off into every direction. School simulation has been completely corrupted. It will be impossible to find the children without first restoring the layout one segment of code at a time. Put the set aside un uh, undefined room locations in the play in the area around the entrance hall. 
according to the following schematic of icons. And uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, order of the rooms. So next, we uh, I'll put it in play between turns, so I don't spend time here laying them out. So, psychoanalysis. The layout of the building has been scrambled into an impossible labyrinth. You will first need to restore the school to its former self before finding the children. Fast uh, triggered ability spend uh, one clue as a group switch to adjacent locations with each other. Objective at the end of the round, if the configuration of school locations corresponds to the following schematic advance. So we need to uh, rearrange this order into this one. So that will be a puzzle in itself, so I will have to figure that out. But that is basically it. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, we get defiance, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. I'll do the mid-game setup between turns, so let's go to the next round. Okay, so we did the mid-game setup here. So I have the undefined rooms or in this order here, and we need to get them in this order. So uh, I also did the puzzle in, uh, already uh, in my head, so we need four uh, clues to move them four times. So how do we move them? So I spend one clue as a group, switch to adjacent location with each other, so we don't have to be in that location, and if we are, uh, then we move with the location. And if we, at the end of the round, we have these school locations in the corresponding order, then we advance. So we need a couple of more clues here. But first we need to uh, add a Doom, pull an encounter card, and it is Shadows of Thoughts. Spawn any empty location, retaliate, access the fraud value of the enemy's location. And the post after this enemy's location is switched with another location, move this enemy one location towards the nearest investigator. So we, I think we want to go and kill it and we'll put it any empty location. So I'm, I'm not, I'm reading that is not an empty location because Maja is there. So we'll, uh, we'll put it here. Okay, so we need to deal with this guy. So. The fight is X, and it has 5 health and 2 evade, so any empty location retaliates. X is the shroud value of the enemy's location, and it hits for a lot of horror, which is bad. Okay, well... Unfortunately, we got rid of the dodge earlier, but... We can ignore the horror with the deny existence. So, first action. We will uh, go deal with this in a couple of turns. So, uh, we go to the undefined room. It has a three shroud and two clues. Victory axe. So, action. If a classroom K2 is adjacent to, uh, to four other locations, each investigator at the classroom K2 adds one tally mark next to the memory spool to limit once per game, so at the moment it's not. And I'm, I don't have, I, I think I won't be doing that puzzle. So this engages me. Second action, we will hit it for, with the Dragon Ball, so five against three. Uh, minus two, so it takes two damage because we have uh, uh, two slots loaded up. And last action, we'll hit it again. Uh, five versus two, uh, three. Uh, I'm just uh, playing the defiance in here, so I I get to start putting cancelled cards underneath. So, six versus three. Zero. So, and I, I said like cultist, for example. So that goes underneath Diana. So our willpower is boosted up by one. And this guy takes two damage. We'll go to the enemy phase. Uh, this enemy hits me for 
one damage I'll take that and two horror I'll ignore that so we'll put another card on Diana so we don't take the horror and we'll go to upkeep we ready up we draw virtual access key and gain a resource not a clue a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom three of four encounter card is well another enemy virtual by a key is for furthest location from you <clears throat> it is a hunter when virtual by key would move between two locations without investigators with those location with each other so this is bad and uh, the furthest location from me is one one two three one two one two yeah so it's here so that might mess up our location placement quite a lot but um, I think I have a way around that just uh, going to mark this enemy first So we need to stop that enemy from moving stuff around. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, first action, I will kill off this guy. So Shadow of Thoughts will be... I'll hit for... Uh, 5 versus 3. Minus one. So this is enemy is defeated and it goes into the victor display. Then I'll do a couple of free actions here. So I'll use one clue as a group and move these locations like this. Then we'll do a second one. Uh, we move this location with this one. So now that guy is next to us. So we can just move gymnasium. So uh, three throughout one clue. When an enemy would enter this location, test agility three. If you succeed until the end of the round, the enemy can engage or attack you. Okay. So this enemy engages us, and last action, we'll hit it with the dragon pole. Uh, we are hitting 5 versus 3. I could use this one I I don't think it's use, useful so five versus three zero we hit for two, two damage uh, enemy face this enemy hits us for one damage and one for we don't have anything to cancel those with so we'll take them upkeep we draw twilight blade and gain a resource so that is that round Let's go to the next round. So we add a doom, so this unfortunately advances. Uh, Night Terror. You hear a giggling laughter that echoes through the virtual landscape. Footsteps shuffle from somewhere nearby, growing steadily louder. A nightmarish fiend creeps out of the shadows. Standing seven feet tall with a white painted face, red uh, ringed eyes, and unnatural yellow curly hair. The thing almost looks like a clown, but no real clown would ever wear the tattered, moldy yellow and black costume with scarf in. No clown's eyes would ever be filled with such crazed menace. It smells unnaturally wide. It smiles unnaturally wide. So showing row upon row of sharp triangular teeth, upon its head is an old-fashioned doctor's roan reflector. Around its neck hangs a stethoscope. 
it raises its fingers and you can see that each finger ends in a long, old-fashioned hypothermic needle. This can only be every child's worst nightmare and you're, you instantly, almost instinctively know what this creature must be. This is the boogeyman. If it's Act 1, spawn the set aside boogeyman enemy at the school grounds exhausted. If it's Act 2, spawn the set aside boogeyman enemy in the entrance hall exhausted. Uh, regardless of the current act, shuffle the set aside boogeyman counter set into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. This set is indicated by the following icon. Okay, ah ha 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 ha, don't you wanna play with me? Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it both at the start of the enemy phase. If the boogeyman is at the same location as an avatar story asset, place one doom on that story asset. And doom threshold is 10. So, we get the boogeyman. This guy looks really <laughs> insane. Uh, it hits for 2 horror. It has a question mark for attack uh, damage. Uh, health and at evasion or the evasion uh, number. Uh, virtual monster elite massive hunter cannot be attacked, damaged, or evaded. A combination of many of the children's greatest fears. The boogeyman fills the virtual boomlands with sinister laughter. So this spawns exhausted in the entrance hall. And we put it exhausted like so. Then we shuffle this into uh, the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile, which we don't have. Okay, so giving a good shuffle here. Okay, I think the deck starts to be shuffled enough okay so uh, the encounter card for this round is another enemy manifest whispers hidden peril revelation secretly at this card into your hand force at the end of the round if there are no other investigators at your location the manifested whispers in your hand spawn in that location well uh, we don't have to deal it, uh, with it immediately but we have to deal it eventually so first action we'll kill off this fire key here so I'm hitting 5 versus 3, minus 2, so this is defeated. Second action, we'll play 6 cents. Now uh, the Dragon Pole gives us plus 3 fight, so that also helps. And we will investigate... Might as well investigate with six and so three versus three. And I'll commit this to the test of seven versus three. Uh, five, um, five versus three. Minus three, so good thing we did that because we would have failed. So I get this, so I'm immediately using it to change up the order again. So. We need to get this further there, and this up here, so I'm actually doing this next. And uh, we need to do two more. I think. Yeah, so we need to move this here, and then again here, so... I think that should do it, yeah, that, then it's correct. Okay, well, that was our turn, no enemies, we got upkeep, we draw deny existence and gain a resource. This enemy is ready, so now we just need to run away from it, and uh, that is that round. Yeah, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a Doom encounter card. Is Haunting Past Peril a Test Willpower X access your current memories. If you fail, search the encounter deck and discard for the topmost hidden card and draw it to shuffle the encounter deck. I am testing 
3 versus 1. Minus 3, so I fail. Uh, so, so, topmost hidden card. Okay. And actually, this guy uh, spawned on me at the end of the round, so we drew another one, so we need to deal with that. And we shuffle the encounter deck, so these go back. Okay. So, uh, first action. We'll just hit the Manifest Twist first. So we'll hit 5, uh, 6 versus 3, plus 1. This is defeated. We'll move over. Now we need to think, because if we switch up the rooms, where do we want to end? We want to end in a corner. So we move here. Or do we... Can we get too close? We can't get too close this round. Uh, just thinking... Can we... Okay, so if we go into this corner... And move this one, so we stay in the corner. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so that's the second. Uh, cafeteria, two round, one clue. Investigate, uh, this is get, test gets plus two difficulty. If you succeed, discover an additional clue from an adjacent location. Well, we don't have a adjacent location that has any clues, so that doesn't help us, unfortunately. Uh, last action, we'll uh, use six cents to investigate. We succeed. We'll use this immediately. And we'll switch these two. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. Uh, this guy hunts. Over here, upkeep, we draw a card, uh, drawn to the flame, that's good, and we gain a resource, and at the end of the round this comes out of our hand and engages us, okay, and uh, that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a Doom Encounter card is Haunting Past again. Um, I'm just testing this, so... Uh, 3 versus 1. Uh, yeah. 3 versus 1. Minus 2, so this time we don't fail. Okay. Uh, first action. We will just kill off this guy. Actually thinking of evading, evading, to get rid of this. Yeah, I'm evading. I'm committing the virtual access key. So... Uh, three against... Uh, five against three. It is a skull. Skull is half the, of your memory is rounded down, so it's one or zero actually. So we pass, but I will trigger this. So this goes into the discard, and this guy hits us, but we'll use the deny existence. Second action, we'll hit it. Uh, 
Uh, minus zero, so it is defeated. Last action, we'll move over here. Enemy face, this guy hunts over here. And upkeep, we ready, we draw machete and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we add a doom. 3 of 10. Encounter card is digital corrosion. Test willpower X. X is the shroud value of your location, so X is 3. For each point you fail by, discard a card from your play area and or from your hand. I'm testing 4 versus 3 minus 1. We uh, pass that. Okay, first action I will do the drawn to the flame. We get an encounter card. Grim Future Peril uh, Revelation at Grim Future. To any investigator's threat area force when the act or agenda advance, take one damage and horror test agility free if you succeed this card grim future. And we get these two clues. And I will immediately spend one of those clues to switch these two. And now we have the correct order, so we advance. Just a bad dream. When the school simulation has finally been restored, a choir of uh, a choir of children's voices cry out, insane with terror, from the school's intercom system. What did you do? We scrambled the school so the boogeyman couldn't find us. It's coming to eat us. You realize now that the cor corruption of the school and the boogeyman itself are not uh, an outside influence. They are the manifestation of the children's insanity. The personification of their fears, uh, what uh, could have driven them to the edge of sanity. Regardless, if you can convince them that the monster stems from the, uh, their own simulator imagination, perhaps you can save them before they are completely consumed by the terror. If the Pokemon is not in place, spawn it. It is. Uh, reveal all unrevealed locations. Okay, so there's one here. One clue here, so we have the library and biology lab. Uh, randomly attached a set-aside avatar story asset to classroom K2, library, gymnasium, biology lab. One to each location. If the boogeyman is at a location with an avatar story asset, attach that avatar story asset to the cafeteria. Well, the boogeyman is at the cafeteria, so we... Shuffle these guys and start placing them from left to right and top to bottom. I'm not even looking, uh, so I'll just shuffle and put. So we have David, Hilde, Alma, and William. So what do the, this do? Let's see in a moment. Then, uh, facing your fears, you must help the children overcome their nightmare before they are consumed by it. Now that you are fi familiar with the architecture of the school, perhaps you can modify it to your advantage. Uh, spend one clues as a group, switch to a chase and location with each other. And objective, save as many of the children as you can. If the boogeyman is defeated, advance. Well, um... This read, uh, if if the boogeyman is at the location above or below David, lo location parlay test uh, uh, combat 2, if you succeed flip him over and resolve the text. And these are all the same except with uh, other traits, so Alma is willpower, Tilde is intellect and uh, William is agility. So we can utilize our high willpower help us with the mind side with those tests. But now we have a different puzzle. We need to get the boogeyman onto a location that is uh, above or below someone. So I think I will start from Alma. So I will next action move here, then use my clue to switch these locations.
and last action do this ability on Alma. So I'm testing four versus two and not using mine side. Uh, minus one, so we succeed, so we immediately get to flip this over. So Polly, test group of two, if you succeed, flip her over and resolve the text. With patience and care, you reassure Alma and persuade her to open her eyes and carefully scrutinize the simulation night simulated nightmare uh, through her fingers. She finally notices the subtle dis uh, discrepancies that can only be observed from the specific angles, thus breaking the illusion of the dreadful monster. Without the sustenance of Alma's fear, the boogeyman's thousand yellow teeth fall out of its gapping maw and shatter across the ceramic floor. Thanks for your helping us. If Alma, I'm Alma and I'm char in charge of environmental controls on the ship, it's really cold. I need a jacket. A little girl strolls out of the school without fear. Place one horror token on the boogeyman uh, from the token pool. If there are four horror tokens on the boogeyman, it is defeated. Add this card to the victory display. Okay, well, we have a slight problem here. I'm actually going back on that action because now I know this that uh, the boogeyman will come to us oh yeah and we have forgotten this so I'll test that so we we take one damage and one horror then we test the agility tree against the agility tree minus two we won't get rid of that so uh, we move here Last action is to investigate using the Sixth Sense. So adjacent locations is true. Zero. So we get grab this clue and we'll spend it to move the boogeyman back here. So we actually will do... Uh, we'll fight the boogeyman next round because otherwise it would engage us and uh, we don't have any enough cards in our hand to be able to go get away from the boogeyman okay well uh, enemy face the boogeyman hunts <coughs> Let's hunt uh, over here let's see what did happen if the boogeyman is at the start of the enemy says if boogeyman is at the same location as an avatar story asset place one do on that story asset. Okay, well Yeah, so we draw a card, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom and counter card for this round is uh, come closer, put the come closer into play in your threat area. Post. At the end of your turn, if you are not at the boogeyman's location, discard some, uh, come closer and test willpower 3. If you fail, move one location towards the boogeyman. What? Want a balloon? Okay, well, that, that, that is a creepy, creepy art oh, right there. So, I'm really scared of clowns in real life, so uh, this set is just nightmare fuel for me. But <laughs> we'll try to handle it. Okay. First action. Now we do this uh, willpower test. And uh, uh, we are testing four versus two. And I think I'll save the read designs to get those two clues from the entry hall. So four versus two. Zero. Okay, so now we read this, and I already read it, so we add one horror on the boogeyman, and then we will move over here, 
I will do the read the signs. Read the signs, uh, test willpower plus intellect, so we are at 7 versus 2. Well, it's an auto fail. But this cancels uh, bad stuff, so it goes underneath us. Okay, well, that sucked. And uh, I'll just investigate its uh, success then. So we are uh, 5 versus 2 plus 1. We'll grab this clue, and that is our turn, enemy phase, uh, boogeyman moves here, and was it at the start of the enemy phase? Yeah, so we had to add one doom on to David. Okay, and that is everything, so we'll go to up at the end of your turn if you are not Pokemon's location, Discord, come close and test. So we test that. That could, could screw us. So we are testing uh, 5 versus 3. Minus 1, so we pass, so we don't, don't uh, move to the Pokemon's location. And that we, we had to test that at the end of our turn, not the end of the round, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so that is that round. Uh, we also draw a card and we gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we add a Doom. Uh, we are at 6 of 10. Encounter card is Digital Corrosion. Test uh, Willpower X access to Shroud Value of your location. So we are testing 5 versus 2. And I will say that we ignore Cultists. It is a cultist, so we actually ignore something. So cultist is minus two if you fail. Well, we ignore that, so we get to put this underneath here. Boosting our willpower, and that goes away. So, first... We will... Hmm, let's think. Okay, well, we will investigate here I'm using six cents, so we are six versus two, zero, let me grab this clue, then we will use Okay, we'll do it like this. Second action, we'll move over here. Uh, is there any point in doing it like this? No. Okay, let's... Let's back up, so we didn't spend a clue. Move back. Okay, so this round we won't do any shifting, so we'll just move here. And we'll just investigate. Uh, using the six cents, so six versus two. Uh, minus four, so we actually succeed. And uh, enemy face, uh, the boogeyman hunts here. Upkeep. We ready, we draw vicious ball and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we add a doom 
uh, we have 7 of 10, so we're running out of time. Encounter car is a virtual buyer key, so this uh, is bad. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, yeah, so this spawns over here. Well, first action, we will do the biology lab here. And we are doing agility, and I'm using mine side here. So, six versus two. Skull is uh, zero, so we resolve William. You catch up with the boogie. Uh, with the boy that is frantically running around and calm him down by convincing him that the boogeyman will never actually reach him as its only man means to scare him when the nightmare stops dead in its tracks in front of you the boy finally sighs in relief without the sustenance of the child's fear the creatures we get arms and legs shrink to a more comprehensible size you can call me will i'm in charge of the ship's navigation system and dock docking procedures you tell him to wait for you outside, and he complies without hesitation. Place one horror token on the boogeyman from the token pool. If there are four horror tokens on the boogeyman, it is defeated. Add this card to the victory display. Okay, so this goes in the victory display. We add one here. And uh, then I'll do two shifts. So... We'll, um, now I need to think. So if I okay, so I'll do one. I will shift this. We do a... No. <laughs> okay, this, this is the hard part, apparently. To figure out how do we do this. So first is to move up here. Then uh, we'll do that this uh, classroom K2 moves here along with this enemy and this and we'll move it again like so Uh, yeah, this is a bit hard on camera to figure this out, but it is what it is. Then... I think I will... Risk it. Move here. And, well, this engages me, let's think. No, well, we can't do that. That's bad. Okay. We'll do one more shift. We'll change these. And then we move here, and the last action we will do is to hit this guy with the vicious blow, with the dragon pole. It is a zero, so this guy is defeated. 
uh, at the start of the enemy phase, the Tilda gets one threat. Uh, doom, this moves here. And uh, I think we are running out of time. Well, it is what it is. So we'll draw a card, sharing, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Uh, we are at uh, 7, 8, 9 of 10. That's bad, but we'll get one off when we trigger David, so that might help us. Okay, the encounter card for this round is surprise, peril, test willpower, or agility for if you fail, either move the boogeyman to your current location or the boogeyman immediately attacks you from any location. Okay, I'll just test it. Uh, 6 versus. Four. And it is a cult, uh, minus two if you fail and you have a hidden card in your hand, take one horse. Well, I didn't fail, so that's okay. First action, we'll do David. We'll use mine side. Six versus two. Minus one. David flips over. Uh, you calm down the boy hiding under the desk and manage to convince him that the boogeyman is no match for you, your combined strength and confidence. He stands up and yells towards uh, the fiendish monstrosity. We're not scared of you, you're just a clown. The abomination cries out in pain and its hyperdermic claws shrink and morph into limp red gloves. The boy's in boy introduces himself as David. I'm in charge of the en engines and the main power. I've been feeling awfully sick lately, but thank goodness my stomach finally stopped hurting. You tell David to wait for you outside the school, and he quickly runs off. Place one horror token, the boogeyman, uh, from the token pool. If there are four horror tokens of boogeyman, it is defeated. Add this card to victory display. Okay, we are uh, one horror away from defeating the boogeyman. But we are running into a problem. Uh, we don't have any clues, and we can't get the boogeyman to a location up uh, that is up there. Yeah, so I think we uh, will run out of time. You know few turns. So Boogeyman will move. Yeah, Tilda is in a, in a wrong location completely. I'm just thinking is there any way we could take a card? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I have an idea. So we take a card, we move down, then we ditch three cards to do a major, my, Maya's ability at the end of the enemy phase. Okay, we take a card, Talisman of Protection, and we move down. So the boogeyman uh, in, engages us. Does that help at all? Mm. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we won't move down. So we let the Pokemon move up to us. Then we move once, it moves with us, then we teleport down here and do the tilde ability next round. Okay, so last action is to actually 
play Projective Talisman, and we did the sixth sense. This is just in case we hit some damage and die, <laughs> so we won't. Okay, so enemy face. The um, Pokemon moves to our location, hits us for two damage, or uh, two horror, so we're at five horror. And we go to upkeep, we draw power, promise of power and gain a resource, so that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, uh, 9 of 10 encounter card is... Well, damn it. Okay, we can't get rid of that, so that will go to the victory display. Well, it is what it is. Uh, first action. We will move here. The boogeyman moves with us, but uh, we'll take. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Oh, yeah, I have been forgetting to draw one card and gain one resource with Diana. Okay, well, I'll remember from now on. Yeah, it's. Too much. I haven't played Diana in a while. Okay, well, uh, we'll need three cards. One, two, three. To move anywhere and leave this guy out uh, to the biology lab. Then we'll do the, this ability with the mind side. Commit the promise of power to it. And in the last game, I forgot to add the curse token into the back. Okay, so I'm testing. Uh, Seven versus, uh, I mean, eleven versus two minus one. So we resolve tilde also, and uh, you persuade the anxious girl that the monster's simple artificial intelligence can easily be outwitted and avoided. She observes the boogeyman's movements and finally nods in agreement. You both watch as the tattered clown heads. A head deflates like a balloon and its voice garbles into gibberish. The girl thanks you for your help. My name is Tilde. I'm in charge of the ship's digital mainframe and cyber secu security. I've had a headache for a while, but now I am feeling much better. She carefully navigates around the boogeyman and exits the school building. So we place one uh, horror and the boogeyman is defeated. So we'll take one damage and one horror for the agenda advancing, but it is okay. We still have some health left. Okay, so if the boogeyman is defeated, advance. Nothing to fear. Without fear and terror of its victim's minds to prey on, the horrific digital monstrosity deflates like a balloon and dis dissipates into the simulation resolution 3. So, resolution 3. Outside, the sun comes out and uh, it appears to be a beautiful spring day. Inside, the halls are clean and orderly with brightly painted pictures on the walls. The children themselves, who at first appeared dirty and disheveled, now appear clean and neat in school uniform. They are overjoyed that the boogeyman and all the bad people are finally gone. They understand that they can never return home and that their families are long dead, but that does not diminish their happiness that there is no more boogeyman to scare them and that they have a, reach, a real teacher to take care of them again. The virtual dreamscape is now filled with happy loving children. In your Campalog record that you fully restored the sanity of K2 PS187, an investigator may choose to add K2 PS187 100% functionality permanent uh, story asset into their deck. Uh, we had, uh, so if at least one copy of the Reminiscence Treacheries in the victory display, add one uh, tablet token to the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. So we had that, so we have to add one tablet to the pack. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of X card in the victory display. Proceed to interlude one mission briefing. So uh, I'll do the mission briefing uh, at the start of the next. Uh, video I will do. So here is the reminiscence. Went into the victory display. So we have victory points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 victory points. So that went pretty well. So we got to uh, 
balance the all event first scenario of the campaign with that. So that was uh, the Electric Nightmare, a really fun and interesting scenario in my opinion. So hope you guys liked this playthrough, look forward to the next episode, thanks for watching and until next time.